Uh, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to another Thursday Night Live on the Glorious Theme Blockchain. We are streaming live on Facebook Live, and you might be watching this on DTube or YouTube. Hi, Renee. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, it is Thursday Night Live, and I guess we just, uh, elephant in the room to start us off. I actually do have quite a bit of stuff to go over. Uh, that whole five tasks lesson that we uh, released yesterday, as well as the PDF. Um, but um, let's talk about it, huh? So, um, coronavirus is basically bringing the world to a standstill. Um, markets have absolutely <clears throat> been demolished. And I'm not just talking about stocks. Uh, have you seen Bitcoin today? And basically all of crypto, for that matter. Uh, just a dump, just an absolute dump. Uh, fear has entered the markets and uh, uh, the end is nigh, I guess. I don't know. Personally, I think uh, while uh, everyone should be cautious, uh, I think that we uh, tend to overblow things as a species. Um, this is, this is uh, obviously contagious. It is, it is, it is detrimental. Uh, to the welfare of, of people that are definitely um, not necessarily the best well-equipped immunity-wise to deal with this stuff. Uh, so I, I, I do understand the, the stress of it all, but man, everybody, it's amazing when things like this happen, it's just everybody, there's a run on, a run on the banks, there's a run on the markets, it's just, it's just crazy. So at this time, Bitcoin is under 5,000 dollars per which is insane because this time yesterday i think it was like eight thousand or seven thousand or something like that uh just a huge jump uh bat lost 45 percent steam lost like 50 percent overnight uh just a just an amazing just a major major uh dump going on right now let me be crystal clear when it comes to this stuff. Uh, I, I will never sell my crypto. <laughs> I'm way too uh, bullish long-term for this stuff. In fact, this is usually when I end up buying more. I'm not saying follow my lead. I'm not saying follow anything. Do your own due diligence. Do what feels right for you. But there is always opportunity when there is fear in the markets. And I think Today, there is fear in the markets. Uh, people have lost a ton today, and uh, it's, just, it's just crazy. It's, it's just it's insane. Um, what a 2020. So let's, let's get Blaine's input on it, and then we'll, we'll get into some good, good feely stuff, warm and fuzzy stuff. <clears throat> so I'm actually doing uh, kind of what you're doing, not selling, but I'm actually buying crypto currently. Um, yes, and still have. actively doing that. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, it's going to go down, but it's going to go back up at some point. So that's all I'm going to do. Yeah, keep buying. Buy everything you can. And I'm pretty sure the price of the CTP token is rising. That's great. There you go. CTP token is rising. CTP token is rising. Everything else is going to hell in a handbasket. It's just Tether and CTP token that's uh, that's on the boom. That's all so there you go. Yeah, it, it, it is, Jen. But th this being said, everybody needs to make their own decisions when it comes to this stuff because everybody's risk tolerance is different, right? I mean, for me, uh, I will never spend a dime that I cannot afford to lose in crypto ever, 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 ever. Um, this is not a get rich quick scheme and anybody that's trying to sell you like watch what will happen what you'll see is that uh, when when Bitcoin starts rising again you're going to see all the Bitcoin opportunities start showing up again and you know they started rearing their head over the past couple of weeks because it was at 10k um, be very wary of people like that um, this is not the sexy answer this is not the sexy answer to dollar cost average it's not the sexy answer to say, you know what, guys, just, you know, there's going to be ups and downs in the market. Do your own due diligence. There's, you know, don't buy, don't sell, do your own homework. You know, if you believe in the product, if you believe in the project and you see the use case for it, you don't need to do TNA or, you know, any of these kind of crazy trading things to, to get into this stuff. Just look, can I use this stuff? Do I see a potential for it in the future? If you do, Great time to buy. If you don't, don't stress out. You know, it's fine. It's 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 up to you. 
Um, but I, I do caution when everybody fear sells or fear buys. Uh, this, is a, this is a fear sell, just like toilet paper is a fear buy. And we won't get into the toilet paper too much more uh, because holy moly donut shop, like folks, it's not going to protect you how much toilet paper you have. Anywho. Let's, hi, Sean, welcome. Let's dive into it. Uh, we got some good stuff because you know what? Listen, at the end of the day, uh, I just mentioned this in Telegram. I think uh, me and Jennifer were, were talking about it. And, you know, at the end of the day, the, the show must go on. Um, business has to be done. Um, we need to be focused on personal growth and development and being better at sunset than when we were at sunrise. That's what we can control. Everything else It'll sort itself out. Be prepared, but don't go too crazy. But we are, we're still here, man. We got tons of stuff. Um, again, going back, uh, I'll try to go over not only the five daily tasks, PDF and stuff, but also um, uh, the, the, the news that's going on on CTP Talk with, with what, what I did an update yesterday. So there's a whole bunch of stuff to go over. We're well over 80 merchants now at FirePay. Sean just joined. He's going to be getting in on it as well very soon. Him and Blaine have been working hard to get that set up. But uh, Renee added it to Boot Scoot and Traffic as well as Pistol Pack and Mama. So we've got that site ready to rock. Uh, that got added the past week or so. So that is awesome. Again, U2 Surf added it a few weeks ago. About a month ago, we had Rob Gearing and Traffic Leads the Income join. So it was just it's amazing. It truly is a remarkable thing. And uh, like Blaine said, uh, CTP is like the only crypto that's going up right now. Everything else is losing and CTP is gaining. So yay, CTP. <laughs> okay, so five daily tasks. Brand new lesson inside of your uh, members area at, uh, at the beautiful, beautiful uh, Click Track Profit. Let me get the link here for you guys. Uh, this, there is a full lesson. Uh, but, uh, letting you know that this came with it. This is the PDF. I just put it into chat there. And, uh, if you want to follow along with us, you can print it out. I laminate it because you know what? Uh, you can actually, uh, laminate this and you can do it with a dry erase marker every day, right? Multiple, multiple uses for this. So we're going to dive into this. We'll go over five daily tasks that can help you on your CTP journey. Uh, and we'll go through it and describe what each of these things represents. If you've gone through the lesson, uh, this is the old hat for you, but hopefully we'll have a good discussion and give you guys a ton of value that you can take with you on your journey uh, while everybody else is freaking out about toilet paper. Let's build some businesses. So the first one is send mail to your list. You should be doing this each and every day. Not, it doesn't have to be to your specific mailing list if your list is not ready to ready to accept it and you haven't trained your list or coached your list to expect uh, emails each and every day, but you need to be sending email each and every day. So whether you're using a tool, a viral mailer like list nerds or traffic leads to income or something similar, or you're using your autoresponder list, you have to do this every single day. This is why it is on top of this beautiful checklist that you can use and we're, we'll, we'll follow along, right? We're going we're gonna to do we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do fun fun following along with John and his dry race. Uh, so did I do this today? Did I send an email today? I sure did. So that that gets a beautiful check mark. Blaine, what do you think about sending me email to your list every single day? I think it's a great idea. I think not enough people do it, uh, and I think that the small amount of emails that I do receive, I actually read. I just got one earlier from Eric. As a matter of fact, uh, let me check. I haven't yes, checked you it. Yes, did. You sent about an hour ago or so. Yeah. Let me see. Eric. Uh, no, about 30 minutes ago now I got it. Okay. Nice. So. Wow. Beautiful. Very nice. Yes, I get his emails as well. They're great. Send more emails. So why do you want to send emails? Well, to me, it's pretty simple. Uh, out, of, out of sight, out of mind. Email lists is is a fan if you use it properly and obviously there's a ton of lessons inside of click track profit that help you guys uh you know answer why you want to send emails but why do you want to send emails it's out of sight out of mind if you are not in front of people remember 1440 minutes a day people get to allocate hey scott to their attention 1440 minutes so they are bombarded with hundreds of thousands of marketing messages each and every day. 
if you show up in their inbox once every 60 days, guess where you are on their priority lists? Pretty low. So you're sending email and you're doing it not to push offers, not to say, hey, go buy my stuff. That's fine to use it every now and again. But what you're trying to do is pull people to you. You're trying to say, have you noticed any of the emails that me and Blaine have been sending in the past couple of weeks? It's all, it's all pull. It's all, hey, come to our Facebook group. Come to our Telegram group. Come log in and do traffic or uh, training. Come and do this. Come and, like we're pulling people. We're not saying, hey, go buy this. Hey, you should go buy that. We will do that because 75-25, we want to split uh, pulling as well as pushing uh, messages. But at the end of the day, out of sight, out of mind, we want people to remember that, hey, click track profit exists. Hey, Blaine's here crushing it. John's out here doing stuff on social media. We're out here. We're here trying to help you guys. Email is still one of, if not the most effective ways to do that. So setting up a daily habit of sending emails even if it's just, again, using a viral mailer. Even if you want to set up your, auto, your, your, your mailers to go out every single day, just get into the habit of doing that. Please, save unicorns. Please, for the love of everything that's good in the world, save more unicorns. It's, I think he's at meh right now. Is he at meh or is he sad or angry? I don't even know. Um, I haven't even checked. Let me see. Let's see where the unicorn is at. What is the unicorn at? Unicorn's oasis. He is tense today. He's tense today. Jeez, we got it. We got it. We got to soften him up a bit, man. He's 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 getting stressed out. So, first thing you need to do every single day: open up that autoresponder, open up that viral mailer, press send, send email to your list. So, the next thing that I have here is engage on social media networks, and we're gonna do the checklist. Uh, we're gonna do action taking with John. Did I engage on social media today? You sure bet I did, Batman. So that gets a check mark too. Look at that. I'm, uh, I'm two for two so far. Two for two, two, two. Yes, exactly, Eliana. Yeah, save a unicorn so it can kill the virus. Absolutely. Okay, engaging on social media networks. Why do we want to do this? Obviously, straightforward, out of sight, out of mind. Same idea. You want to make sure that people remember that you're out there. But uh, I also, in the lesson, I talked about Grant Cardone's example where he says he wants to practice omnipresent marketing and what he termed omnipresent marketing is this being in as many places as often as everywhere you can be you can humanly be so if you're going to be on if you're going to pick a couple of like for me personally it's facebook it's steam ctp talk it's twitter it's youtube those are my go-tos instagram meh Every now and again, I'm not a big Instagram fan, but I'm always on Facebook. Every single day I'm engaging on Facebook. Every single day I'm engaging on Twitter. Every single day I'm engaging on Steam and CTP Talk. Every single day I'm posting something or some kind of content in uh, YouTube, maybe four out of the seven days of the week, but I'm always on social media networks. I'm trying to be omnipresent in the social media because again, people have 1,440 minutes uh, and they're probably going to pay attention to Gary Vaynerchuk before they pay attention to Blaine and John. I'm okay with that. They're probably going to pay attention uh, more to some uh, big name internet marketer than John or Blaine. I'm okay with that. So what can I do? What can I personally do that's in my control? What I can do control each and every day? I can get out there on social media. I can engage with people. And engaging on social media doesn't mean just pushing content to people. Okay, it's responding to people, it's engaging, it's asking questions, it's replying to people. That is what we mean by engaging on social media networks. So the second thing that we want to do each and every day, yes, we want to send email, but we want to engage on social media. Blaine, what do you think about that? I think it's great. I think that continuing to post on social media, and by the way, just to sidetrack this completely, I uh, finally realized and understood that three monitors is not enough. So I just purchased the thing to extend so I can have a fourth widescreen monitor across the top of all mine. But that aside, um, posting on social media is a great thing and it, and it continues to do what it does is it's not gonna be like Gary Vaynerchuk. It's not gonna be like John and I. Um, you're building that circle of influence and, and as you continue to post and as you continue to create posts, you're extending your reach further and further and further each time you post with each new person that likes it that shares it, that comments on it, so forth and so on, and continuing to build this. And that's where you get that push pull uh, and all of those directives that John has been talking about that we've been talking about for seven, eight, nine months almost uh, at this point. Yeah, I know. 
It's so touch it's, points, right? You throw enough stuff out there, someone's going to find you, right? And this is, you know, it's kind of like what Blaine does with that, that graph that he uses. Like, you just keep pushing stuff out there. Hey, Ben, how you doing, man? Welcome to the show. So you just keep doing this. You're, it'll, Russell Brunson famously called it affiliate landmines. And again, I don't want to get into the, the graphic nature of a true landmine, but an affiliate landmine works like this. You plant it, you set it and forget it. Eventually, someone will come across it. That's really morbid if you think of it in a re real way. But yeah, pretty sick. But the whole idea is that if you're engaging on social media and you're out there responding to people and replying to people and engaging with people, more people have opportunities to find you. Which brings us to the third point, create and engage on ctptalk.com. Uh, this kind of goes with uh, social media marketing. Have I done this? Yes, I made a blog post earlier this morning. It was actually at two in the morning, uh, but that counts. So uh, we are on step three. I'm three for three so far, folks. Three for three so far. So create and engage on CTP Talk. So Blaine just mentioned this, that it's very similar to social media networking. Uh, it's content marketing, right? It's, it's the, it's, well, what are we trying to do on CTP? We're telling people to build their list. We're telling people to build their brands. How do you build your brand? Content marketing. What is the tool you can use for content marketing? Blogs and blogging. So CTP Talk is a blog, but it's on top of the blockchain, which is super sexy. Uh, except for today, because of course crypto has gone to hell in a handbasket, but not seems to be token. It's crushing it right now. Um, so, but what is the big advantage to creating on CTP Talk compared to saying, um, you know, WordPress or a WordPress blog? Well, with CTP Talk, you're plugging into a community. You're plugging into what is called a Steam Tribe. Steam Tribe on uh, is CTP Talk. It is the CTP members. It's people that are creating each and every day generating, curating, engaging to earn CTP tokens, which is integrated in FirePay processors around the interwebs, where you can take that coin, you can trade it for Steam, which can trade to USD, or you can buy products and services with it, with the IPI from FirePay. So you're plugging into a community that's there, a community that I truly believe and Blaine truly believes is the, is the first of many meetings and marriages and unions between affiliate marketing and the blockchain. And this is what CTP Talk is designed to be, a middle ground. So you're gonna see people that are coming in here, Zoltan, Geronimo, bunch of people that were not originally on CTP, like a lot of you guys were. They came from the blockchain and got introduced to affiliate marketing through CTP. But there's also affiliate marketers that are getting introduced to the blockchain for the first time. So this is why you're plugging in to a community like CTP Talk, and it's very, 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 very rewarding. Because again, uh, as Blaine famously says, you earn more to earn more, which is brilliant. You earn more curating, you earn more creating, and you earn more engaging. So every single day, create or engage, curate on CTP Talk. This is part three of our five daily tasks that we've checked off. Blaine, you want to touch on that? Are you good or everything peachy? Yeah, so the more you are and the more you are and you talked about the difference between uh, CTP Talk and like a WordPress blog. And the great thing is, is you don't have to use one or the other. I still use my WordPress blog. John still uses his WordPress blogs. We nice. use a wonderful plugin called Steam Press that pushes it right over to the blockchain for us and puts it on CTP Talk automatically. So while we continue to get the WordPress uh, content and we're building our domains and everything on that side, we're also building on the blockchain side. And it's a two for one. And, and John's talked about it before and it's pushing content to multiple aspects at the same time. Uh, and then again, that's just extending that reach out. And while we're doing it, especially on C2B Talk, we're earning money, right? Um, I just gave uh, Eric an upvote because I read his email, which led me to his C2B Talk blog post talking about uh, save your email uh, mailer ads for easy resend plus 2020 vision day number 20. Uh, and I upvoted him and he just earned 30-ish CTP tokens just for me giving him a thumbs up. And I'm gonna finish reading it and then I'm gonna comment on it. And then he's gonna earn more when he replies to me, simple. It's pretty slick how it works. And me and Blaine actually talked about this this week. You know, how do we angle this? Because, you know, Rob Rob has been doing, he did this yesterday at his event, um, as well as Russell Stockley's been doing it all the past couple of weeks here with the Wheel of Engagement. Um, this crypto stuff is pretty powerful. And we've seen what can happen 
in the markets today. And again, I don't want to get too much into investment advice because again, I'm definitely not someone to listen to when it comes to investing. Uh, but if you believe in this stuff, you see the future for it. And I truly believe in my heart of hearts, and I've got a huge blog, 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 blog post planned for tomorrow that is going to talk about what affiliate marketing is going to look like in the future. It's going to be my crystal ball, uh, my prophecy when it comes to this type of stuff. Maybe I'm totally wrong, but everything I've seen is leading to this. So this is a great time to be involved, great time to plug into these communities, and a great time to get engaged and earning crypto each and every day. And you can do it for free at CTV Talk. You don't need to pay a single dime, penny, nothing. We actually reward you for engaging and creating. Crazy, right? But like Blaine said, you're also building with Steam Press. You're also building your blog as well. So it's a win-win. It's no lose here. The fourth one is work on training and mastery in CTP. Now I'm going to click this because I literally worked on it. I actually created a new lesson. So I did work on the training. But for those of you that do not co-own CTP like me and Blaine, this would be going in, logging into CTP and actually doing a new lesson. And you can't say that there's nothing to do because there's tons of mastery that you can work on as well. What does this do? So not only, it's kind of a, it's a twofold win here. One, you're plugging into a community, you're leading by example, you're showing people within the community, your teams, the people in your downlines and, and networks, that you are an action taker. You're leading by example. This is the thing, like attracts like, and I'm not talking about law of attraction, you know, super scientific, if I think of a million dollars, it's gonna appear. No, law of attraction to me is this. If I see someone that's taking actions that I think that I should be doing, I'm gonna follow along with them because they're going out and they're busting their butt. If they can do it, I can do it, I'm gonna follow. This is what actually working on your training and mastery in CTP does. So obviously it's a win you're leading by example but two you're actually growing remember be better at sunset than you were at sunrise all of this personal development stuff and personal growth is pretty simple it comes down to action if you're not doing things you're not growing you're dying in fact so work on training and mastery within ctp you're plugging into the community, you're showing people, you're leading by example, but also you are just growing every single time you do something within CTP, whether you're working on the training or you're working on mastery. Really important, very important. This is why we have the three steps to success that people can do within the system right now. This is critical to your growth. Keep why we're doing this thing, why we're doing this checklist is to keep people on track, keep people keep people focused on building and growing. And I can't stress to you guys enough how important it is to actually log in and do something every day inside of CTP. Blaine? Always log in. Blaine Jones, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, the, we built the three steps to success specifically for you and for you to be able to achieve something. And, and John continues to add to it uh, things that you can do every single day with ease. And they're simple things, but when added up over time, compound, it's just like that chart that I showed you before on the Excel spreadsheet. Over time, everything starts to add up and everything starts to add together. And you may not see the result in a day or two days or three days or four days, but in a month, two months, six months, a year down the line, <laughs> me. you're going to start to see the results. John and I have been up here twice a week, sometimes three times a week for quite some time now. And we're starting to see the results from that, right? Uh, we have people that are joining CTP and coming in the new seat into the Telegram group every single day based on everything that we've been doing for the past nine months. There are people that are rejoining and re-looking at CTP that were old members, but are realizing that, hey, these guys are back, they're building something. And what we're trying to do is to continue to build that. And, and everybody's starting to see that and everybody's starting to realize that. And again, it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen in a day. This is nine months in the making. I think we're at nine months now, right? Eight, seven or eight. Eight-ish, seven eight months in the seven making, right? So the days. further along that we get, the larger and larger everything is going to get because we continue to put as much out there as possible and continue Absolutely. to grow and build. And we, we tell people all the time, it's a process, it's a process. We're going through the exact same process with everything that we do and everything that we're building. 
CTP talk was just a thought a year ago. Well, it wasn't even a thought a year ago. It was a thought right. nine months ago. Yeah. And then it became a thing. And now people are using it. And now we continue to get people using it consistently and more often. And everything is building and everything continues to build. We yep. are and will be a force to be reckoned with. Man, preach, man. Love it. We're only getting better at what we do. Yeah, man. It's scary. It's scary. It's, it's, it, we actually, uh, we did a graphic uh, probably four months ago, five months ago, that, that mentioned, and it's inside of your CTP members area. It mentioned, don't you wish you got started now? Because your, 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 your future self, your one year from today will thank you. You know, the, 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 the Rob Gearing in a year from now, the Ben Thomas in a year from now, the Eliana Gomez from a year from now will thank you today. <laughs> They're going to thank you for taking action. And that's what we're trying to do here at CTP is be products of our product and, and live what we're, we're talking about each and every day. So um, final up is uh, the last step and learn something new. Uh, I do this each and every day because I'm always either reading a book or I'm watching some kind of uh, TED talk or something. I am learning something new. So this is actually, this is the final of the five daily tasks. So I'm five for five, baby. I'm, I'm going to take a selfie because this is, this is actually, this is, I'm going to use this. I'm going to, I'm going to repurpose this for uh, a glorious, glorious, um, picture on Instagram. There you go. Um, there I'm repurposed. I'm see, I'm, I'm anyways, learn something new. This is actually something I learned from, uh, Brian Tracy. Hopefully you guys follow Brian Tracy, or read some of his books. Brian Tracy is one of my favorite authors of all time. Just a great dude, uh, a legend in personal development and success in sales. And just, uh, if you're going to read any of his books, read goals, uh, kiss the frog, eat the frog, just amazing stuff. Goals is my favorite. Uh, book, but he has done a ton. He talked about what you do each and every day in your spare time, right? So there's, again, we're allocated 1,440 minutes a day, God willing. Some of us have less, but none of us have more. That's what we have each and every day. So you take those 1,440 minutes and every decision you make determines where your future self is going to be. So Brian he, he teaches that if you're going to spend your time watching reruns of Seinfeld on Netflix, you're going to get the, 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 the payoff of watching that idle time, watching a rerun of a comedy sitcom. That's where you're going to be. But if you choose to further your personal development, your self-education, growth, personal growth, uh, reading from thought leaders and learning from webinars and soaking this stuff up and being a sponge. If you choose those 1,440 minutes a day on that type of stuff, your future self is going to thank you. So learn something new every day and learn something new. Doesn't necessarily mean reading a book, watching a webinar. It could mean trying something and flopping and failing miserably. You've learned something new. That's okay. <laughs> it's totally okay. A show of hands, Blaine and I have flopped programs in our life. I mean, me and Blaine, before we even started CTP, we tried to start up a program. It didn't even get off the ground. It was like, oh, this isn't working. Scrap it. But it, we failed, but we learned something. This is, Costanza is a thought leader. Yes, Rob, that's true. That, how could we ever, George is just a legend. But um, <laughs> so how do you learn new things? It might be through a book. It might be through... A reading, watching a video, a, a, you know, a webinar or, or a thought leader or something, or it's from actual trial and error, walking through the fire, <laughs> putting your stuff out there and seeing if it sticks. It might not, it probably won't, but that's what keeps you growing when you're trying stuff and you're learning something new each and every day. So again, the, uh, the, the downloadable PDF is right here, but the lesson is inside of CTP, but you can print this out. My idea, actually, I think it was Eliana who came up with this yesterday. Uh, laminating is very key to this because you can print these out every single day if you want, but you're going to waste paper. But if you laminate this, you can do a little dry erase. So today I've accomplished my five. Tomorrow, do I check it off again? And you do this, 
and you start a calendar. Remember, you use your calendar and agree you want more greens on your calendar than red. This keeps because there's no one looking over your shoulder, right? We're entrepreneurs, we're our own bosses. We are responsible for our own income. So this type of stuff helps you keep on track, keep focused, and start checking off the green wins because you do this enough, beautiful things happen. Jennifer, it's Brian Tracy, but I will put his name right here. So you, know. so you see, right there. Definitely highly recommend uh, him as an author, as well as uh, Jeffrey Gittimer, as well as, uh, as John C. Maxwell, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. But I got, I got Brian, this is his latest book. Um, this is his latest book here, Million Dollar Habits. This is his latest. That's that's the latest one. This is fantastic. Really good book. Really good book. Anyways. Yes. So there you go. Um, the five uh, daily tasks to help you on your journey with CTP. Send mail to the list. Engage on your social media networks. Create and engage on CTP Talk. Uh, work on your training. Mastery at CTP. And then learn something new. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Ben. Kick. You got to, dude. Because think about it. This is the thing. This is what's crazy about entrepreneurs, right? We're, we're really, really, really wired, really wired differently than, than someone who does a nine to five, right? So a nine to five, you know, you get up, you go to work for your eight hours a day, you're going to get paid at the end of the week. No problem. Entrepreneurs, completely different. We'll probably work 14 to 20 hours. Sometimes I've been known to go days and days and days without sleep for not a guarantee of a paycheck, but for the hope and prayer <laughs> of a paycheck. Like we get on camera every single week here. There's no guarantee that me and Blaine are going to get paid on Monday. We hope and pray that we do and we bust our butt to give mo the most value we can, but there's no guarantees. That's the thing with entrepreneurs. There's no one looking over our shoulder. Blaine, no, there's no one looking over Blaine saying, hey, Blaine, you should probably go try to code this thing. Well, me every now and again, I'll bug. But you know what I mean? Like, there's no boss over his shoulder. There's no one over my shoulder saying, hey, dude, you should probably send an email. Maybe write a blog post this week, buddy. You probably should try that. No one over our shoulder. So, yeah, you're right on, Ben. You got to kick your own butt here. This is what's crazy about entrepreneurs. But I guarantee you, the rewards, baby, whoo. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about achievement, a, a feeling of self-worth. Uh, um, of, of, of freedom of being able to choose your hours and work from home. And, and this is what to me is true wealth in, in working for yourself. It's not the paychecks. The paychecks are fine. And yeah, you can make a lot of money, but at the end of the day, listen, I've made a ton of money in my life online. Okay. I'm rebuilding from the fire or the crash and burn that happened, but I've been there. I've been making a lot of money. I'll tell you one thing. You like, maybe I'm just wired different, but I don't need a lot to be happy. I want the happiness comes from me being able to work from home. I feel like the richest SOB on the planet because I get to work from home. That's, that's the real wealth. It's not all oh, million dollars. No, it's, it's, can I pay my bills from my passion, from what I love doing? And with entrepreneurship, you can, that can be a reality the problem is, is people, they don't give themselves enough time. They don't give themselves enough uh, leeway to fail. They don't give themselves uh, the right mindset. There's all these things that line up that kind of determine where we go. These type of things help. They help a ton. So I highly recommend you guys print this out. If you got a laminator, laminate it. And just even, even if you don't want to do these, even if you don't want to do these and you come up with your own five daily things that you want to achieve, just write a list down and check it off every time you go through it. It will keep you on track. It will be the boss over your shoulder that's keeping you focused because no one is coming to save you. No one is coming to build your business for you. You've got to do this. These type of tools help. That's Thursday Night Live. Blaine, do you want to end it off? Keep on keeping on. And look, we, we talk about it all the time. With CTP Talk, the more you earn, the more you earn. And I'll explain it uh, again. Every single time that you earn with CTP Talk, you can stake that earning. Once that earning is staked, you're now going to earn from your staked earnings by simply upvoting, commenting, uh, any sort of curation uh, possible. So 
make posts, earn, stake that, and then get involved with other people in the community. And now you're earning more for being involved. So the more you continue to use and build on it, the more you're going to earn. So the more you earn, the more you earn. The more you earn, the more you earn. That's actually a post I'm going to do next week too. I'm planning my, this is what I do too. I don't know if you, this really helps for content creation and content marketers. You should really like maybe set up a schedule or plan your week. I do this. So I have my, this is kind of another topic. We'll talk about it next week, but I have my days, you know, my Wednesday nights are usually the, the road to 10 K my Thursday night lives, my Monday crypto Mondays, Tuesday is kind of my free write day. Sunday is sports nerds. Saturday is kind of like a picture I'll, I'll throw up on epics or something, but I have my set schedule and I plan my week in advance. So I actually have two blog posts that are planned one for tomorrow, one for next week, really good habit to get into write down your ideas. Cause you're not going to remember them write down your ideas, especially when it comes to content marketing, like, oh, I have a post I want to work on for Thursday next week. Okay, so you have all, you know, you got seven days to lead up to that, so that you get to that point where you know what you're going to write about, and you know what you're going to present to your audience. So just a little side tip there uh, for creating. But yeah, just like Blaine said, you earn more by earning more, you earn more by creating more, you earn more by curating more, you earn more by engaging more on CTP Talk. So that's the, that's the plug. I, so we always say we never sell anything. We're selling CTP talk today. Get out there and create some stuff. But it's not really selling because you're not buying anything. Actually, we're sending you money. Yeah, and the best part is it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You know, we're doing giveaways tonight. Uh, we are going to give away CTP miners. We are going to give away five CTP miners, Okay. Uh, we did this, uh, we, we haven't done one of these in a while. So how it works is very simple. I'm going to take a piece of paper and a pen. I'm going to write down a number between one and 50. Everybody put in a number once, once you guys get it right, or if you get the closest, we'll award the CTB miners, uh, that you can stake and start earning CTB tokens for free. So this is a giveaway. This is crypto giveaways. We're, we're following in, in uh, Rob's lead from last night, as well as uh, uh, Russell Stockley's from the Wheel of Engagement. So we're going to give away five miners, CTB miners, and the number is between one and 50. I'm going to write this down now, and then I'm going to send it to Blaine. Blaine may or may not write the number uh, on his whiteboard. How did I know? <laughs> I just knew. <laughs> so, okay, so we got Rob 34. We got Lisa. So I'll let everybody go through. Um, just put a number in, and the closest to it, uh, over or under, it doesn't matter. If the closest to it uh, will win this uh, superstar prize of five CTP miners. So throw your numbers in, and we're good to go. No one has hit it yet, so we're just we're just saying that. I, we don't need just need just put one number in. And the closest to it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people out of 16. 10 people out of 16. 11 people out of 16. So I'm just, I'm waiting for five more people or the next 20 seconds, whatever comes first. There's, re so that's 13 out of 16. Out of 15. And Eric, you put in twice. Eric, Eric is, Eric is having uh, NHL withdrawals. So he's not paying attention. <laughs> so my question is he put it in twice. So which number counts his first number or a second number? Um, the first. Okay. Yeah. Last, last chance for entry. We'll do 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three. It's okay, Eric. <laughs> One. Okay, our winner. Uh, oh, you gotta if, wait though because there's a delay. Oh, there's a delay. Okay, yeah. so we'll wait. So right now you're on three, two, two, one. Now you're good. Okay. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so the winner, uh, I think, is Rob Gearing. Uh, we had a 41 from Mark Adams, but 37 is closer to a 34 is closer to 37. So, Mr. Gearing, you are the winner. And you, tell him what he's won, Blaine. Five CTP miners. 
five CTP miners five. direct oh, from five. the C CTP blockchain to you. It's a no worries, Reef man. Uh, no worries, Eric. Um, we we got we got Rob though. Uh, we got Rob. So um, Rob, I will uh, I will assign those to you, and all you've got to do is stake them, and boom, they start making CTP ma auto magically. There you go. Auto magically. I have CTP miners. I get CTP every single day. It's amazing. Multiple times a day. They mine for me. Yep. I'm going to try this uh, dry erase to see if it, uh, if it comes off. It comes off, folks. Look at that. Look at that. I'm fresh to go for tomorrow. Fresh to go for tomorrow. This is a really cool tool. Laminate these uh, checklists and, uh, yeah, there you go. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to shut down the recording. Um, thank you guys for watching on DTube and YouTube. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, à bientôt. That's French for uh, see you later. Toodles. May the Schwartz be with you. All that stuff. Thanks for coming. Bye.